Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to online CRT classes. Today, we are going to discuss uh, number system part seven. So, last class we discussed about divisibility rules, right? So, concept of the divisibility rules in number systems. Okay, first, just a recap of the number system completely. First of all, what we learn up to this uh, types of numbers, factors, and numbers. Uh, power cycle. Per second, okay. okay. Now, and uh, digits and what is a number? What is a digit? Uh, how we are going to convert uh, imaginary number, real numbers, non-terminating numbers, converting as a rational numbers, and uh, how many digits in the one number? And what is the face value? What is the uh, place value? What is the factors and multiples? And how we are going to convert that factors into product forms? And concept of the power cycle and divisive and some of examples we uh, discussed and divisibility rule. What is the divisibility rule? First of all, so we already discussed divisibility rule for two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, seven, and nineteen. See what is the difference here. The divisibility rule Now, we already discussed about these numbers, how it will be divisible to the particular number. How we are going to identify the number is divisible by the particular number or not. We check all these numbers. Now, now we'll check with for other numbers also, right? Okay. Yeah, now check here. Divisible by divisibility by divisibility for other numbers, other numbers, no, what's the divisibility rules for other numbers? What is that other numbers? For example, say 14, 15. 18 etc okay so before going to discuss the shortcuts for divisibility rule of 14 15 18 first of all we have to discuss so uh, we already discussed the divisibility rule of six right so what i said it is a uh, which number which number is divisible by by three sorry two and 3 I said, right? And for 12, which number divisible by divisible by by 3 and 4 I said. Why I have to take 2 and 3 only, 3 and 4 only? First of all, you have to identify this. First, we'll discuss this uh, about this. So, if for 6 and 12, why I said two and three. See here, uh, to number, whatever the number, if you if it is divisible by six, that means it divisible by two and three. These two and three are, these two and three are co primes, co primes, right? So we already know that what is a co prime. We already discussed in uh, LCM and HCM, right? So what is that co primes? Which number is having HCF? HCF is one. That is co primes, right? Is it clear? No. So why I'm taking the co primes here? So which numbers? Which numbers is having the co primes? That number is not divisible by with any other. Though there is no common factor in between those numbers. For example, two and three. Just check. Two and three. Okay. So 
the common factors for this one, two, this one, three, right? What's the common factor? Only one. So HCF is nothing but one. Okay. And for 12, for 12, three and four, I said, right? So three and four. What's that? One, three, and here, one, two, four. Here also there is no common except one. So here also common factor is nothing but one. So the co prime numbers, co prime numbers is not necessary to two numbers will prime numbers. See, two primer, two numbers will be prime numbers is not a necessary. Here three is a prime number, four is not a prime number, right? Is it clear? Then also the common factor here, only one. For example, I'll say eight. Eight is a not a prime number, right? And nine also is not a prime number. Then check what's the factors of eight and nine. One, two, four, and eight. And here, one, three, nine is a factors. But here, check what is the common factor here? Only one. So these two also in the prime numbers, where which numbers is doesn't have the except one is a common factor that numbers are co primes, right? So eight and nine also is co primes. So when whenever if you are dividing one number, then check the co prime numbers. Like suppose so fifteen and sixteen. I'll say suppose which numbers I take two and three. Why I two and three I'll take. So six, six, okay? Six, we can write one into six. I can write it as multiple, right? So two into three and, right? So here, so with one, with one, we're not going to consider because it's a one is a common for all. So the next number is two and three. So that's the reason I took the two and three, which number is divisible by two and three, that number should be divisible by six. And the same way, 12, for 12, so what is the 12 uh, factors? There are multiple, so one into 12, two into six, three into four, right? Yeah, that may be six into two or that may be, 4 into 3 also same, okay, and uh, 12 into 1 also same. So, except 1, and these these two are not co primes, okay. First, leave the x uh, this one, and it's not a co prime. So, remaining these numbers are co primes. So, that's the reason I took 3 and 4, okay. So, like this, if you are checked with other numbers also with co prime numbers, okay. So, here. For taking the for 14, for for 14, okay, take the for 14, what are the numbers? Just write 1 into 14 and 2 into 7, right? And there is any, any other number is there? No, right? So 1 we are not going to consider and 2 into 7. The 2 into 7 is a co prime only, right? See, two factors, 1, 2. Seven factors, one, seven only. So common variable is nothing but one. Both are actually prime numbers. Prime numbers is nothing but there is no common factors in between that except one, right? So here we can consider two into four, two into seven. So which number is divisible by, which number is divisible by two and seven, two and seven, that number will divisible by 14, okay? For example, check. For example, uh, so this is a number. And we know that divisibility rule for two. Divisibility rule for two. What is that? It is even number. And we know that divisibility rule of seven. What is that rule of seven? You need practice of this seven now. First of all, separate the number. First of all, separate the split the number, split the number in the two parts. One is one part and unit number is one part. So into two. 
8. So subtract this. 2, 8, 1, 5. And unit digit 5 into 2, 10. Subtract this. 2, 8, okay. 0, 5. Okay, again, 5. Right? 2, 8. Sorry. 2, 7, 9, 5. Again, 2, it is 10. 2, 7, 9, sorry, 85. So, like that, if you are multiplying 5, 5, 5 means it is uh, comes to the, here the value of that. So, 5 into 2 and minus. So, every time it is going to be uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, like it will uh, come to the only 10 it will divide. Sorry, I just uh, made a check. See, see, with the practice is very, very, very important, right? So here, you need to separate this five, separate this five okay, into two. And that is a 10, 10 you have to subtract from this. So 271, so 27 is separate and two is separate. Now 25. So 25 into sorry 25. So 25 is not a multiple of 7. So this number is can't be divisible by 14. Like that we can check. Right now. Now write for 15. Now write for 15. What is the 15? 15 factors. Write the factors. So 1 into 15. Okay and uh, 3 into 5 right is it clear so we are not going to consider one part and we just take the prime factors okay go for the factors 2 into 2 into 5 so which number is divided by 15 so that should be divisible by 3 and 5 in the same way okay note it down everyone note it down first this one okay so for uh, for 14 for 14, it is nothing but 2 and 7. And for 15, it is 3 and, 15, 3 and 5. Now, 18, we check 18 also. So, 1 into 18 is nothing but 1 into 18 and uh, 2 into 9 and uh, 3 into 6. Mm. 3 into 6, 4, that's it, right? So, here, check. So, 1, where are you getting? And 3 and 6 is a not a pro primes. So, 2 and 9 is a pro primes. So, for 18, which number is divisible by 2 and 9? So, that will be divisible by 18. So, like this, we can check any number with a co primes number. So, whatever the co prime number will be there for that uh, products, so multiples, that number is divisible by the same number, right? So, okay, we'll uh, check some examples of this one first of all. Then you people will understand how the process will last. Okay, now. Question is for you here. What is the, what is the smallest number, number that should be add to eight nine three five seven to make it divisible divisible by nine. See these type of questions will get and what they're asking see here. So which what is the number smallest number? That should be that should be added add to this number. So which number we are going to add this number to make it divisible by nine? What they are asking to divisible by nine? And options also they given. See here, one, three, four, seven, and no none. Okay. okay see now check this. How we are going to check this divisibility by 9? 
divisibility by 9 is nothing but so if you any number is divisible by 9 that means it should be divisible by sorry the sum of the digits is should be 9 right a 9 a 9 multiple then add this number 8 plus 9 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 see 7 plus 3 is 10 and 10 and 9 plus 5 is 14 14 plus 10 24 24 plus 8 32 right so 32 is not a divisible number uh, by 9 because it's not a multiple of 9 right so which is the nearby value is a multiple of 9 9 3 is 27 right so it is already 27 plus only now 9 4 this 36 so if 36 is there then we can div, uh, we can divide by okay we can divide by uh, 9 exactly so what they are asking which number should be added to this number which number we need to add the total is 32 now if you add 4 then if you add 4 then the total will be 36 it is divisible by 9 right so which is the smallest number to add here 4 and suppose if they ask here only they ask which smallest number is divis, uh, subtracted from this number subtracted from this number then subtract it's a total i got 32 right total i got 32 subtract means less value so less number 32 less number which one it is 27 right so to make it 27 what we have to do here subtract 5 from this number right so they can ask by adding or subtracting both they can ask okay so but what you need to know first of all divisibility by 9 rule what is that the total number sum of the digits sum of the digits it should be 9 or 9 multiple clear so for so another example check another example Now, uh, what is the smallest digit which should it should replace 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 to in replace to number replace not replace star okay, replace x okay, plus x in the number the number 296 296 x12 to make it divisible by divisible by Twelve and divisible by four. So now for this, first of all, we we'll check the options here. One, two, three, four, and none of this. Right? So and we know the divisibility rule for well, it's very, very important, first of all. Okay. So everyone uh, remember the rules of the divisibility rules. Okay. So first, what is it? If a number is divisible by two, sorry, twelve, it should be divisible by four, sorry, three and four, right? So three and four. Now, what is the number here? 
what is the number 2 9 6 some x and 12 now check the first they are asking to replace x so instead of this x we, we have to keep one digit one uh, number so single digit number single digit number so it is divisible by 4 and divisible by 3 so first check divisible by 4 is nothing but checking the last two digits last two digits it should be divisible by 4 okay 12 is there right so 12 is divisible by 4 that means this condition is satisfied already okay so so replacing the number so x replacing the number what should be the number 2 plus 9 plus 6 plus x plus 1 plus 2 so why i'm adding this what is the divisibility rule by 3 the sum of numbers sum of numbers should be 3 multiple 3 multiple right now add these numbers all these numbers uh, 9 plus 1 10 and 6 plus uh, 2 plus 2 20 the 20 plus x we got so what sh should be the multiple of 3 so nearby multiple of 3 so 3 into 6 okay 8 right and 3 into 7 it should be 21 so in the place of this if 21 if i got if i got 21 then it should be divisible by 3 right clear so for that i need to replace this where uh, how we are getting 21 here if x place if i add 1 here so 21 it will be and it is also divisible by 3 and total number is nothing but 296112 now check this so last two numbers is divisible by 4 yes yes and then uh, 1 plus 9 10 6 plus 2 8 plus 2 20 20 plus 1 21 so 21 also is divisible by 3 so the number should be divisible by 3 and 4 so it divisible by 12 okay these are divisibility rules of this right now check some more problems here first uh, 1 2 4 7 3 x is divisible by 9 then find the x value they are asking to find us x value so what is that so what is the divisibility rule of 9 the number sum of the number sum of the number is 9 or 9 multiple 9 multiple right so now check what is the number they given 1 2 4 7 3 x then write it 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 3 plus x plus x right clear now so add this one so 7 plus 3 is 10 and it is nothing but 17 17 is here okay 17. 17 is not a multiple of 9. So, which should be added here, then it is multiple by 9. So, 7 plus 3 is uh, 10 and it is nothing but 7. 17 I am getting, but instead of x, instead of x, I keep that this number will be 17 plus x actually, right? So, what is the x value if I keep, then it will be make like a 9 multiple. What is the 9 multiple here? What's the 9 multiple here? 18, right? Okay. So, in place of x, if I keep 1, then total number will be 18. So, it is nothing but multiple of 9. And here, what is the uh, resultant number? 1, 2, 4, 7, 3, 1. So, this number is divisible by 9. Okay. If you want, you can check it. Okay. Whatever the number, so, these rules will be definitely it follows. So, 9, 9 ones, 9 ones, 9, and it is nothing but 3, 4. Uh, it is 34, 34 means 3, uh, 3 plus 4, 7, 77. 
So first divisibility rule of eight. What is the eight divisibility rule? It should be last three digits, last three digits. So guys, uh, don't uh, forget to practice this. I already given the all divisibility rules. You have to note it down and then you should practice that one. You need to know that which is divisibility rule for eight. So last three digits, last three digits should be divisible by eight, right? So what's the last three digits they given? Three, five, B they given, okay, divisible by eight. If it, this is divisible by eight, the value they said already is divisible by eight, eight. That means it is divisible by eight, right? So the value of replace, just uh, cancel this. So eight fours, eight fours, 32. What's the remainder here? Three is remainder, right? So three is remainder from three to four. I mean, 30 to 40, which number is multiple of eight? So 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, like that up to end 40, up to 40, there is only one number that is nothing but 32. So here four is there, four is 32 and three is remainder, three plus here two. If 32 is there, then we can divide by four. Okay, 44 into eight, it's nothing but 32 plus 35. So this will be divisible by eight, right? So 44 will be, sorry, uh, if B is two, if B is two, if B is two, that should be divisible by eight, right? So first we find this B number, that is nothing but two. Okay, I'm going to clear this. So note it down guys, first of all. Fast, make it fast. So how we got two, you should know first of all, okay? So just cancel, or, uh, you can take like this also. Uh, three, five, B, okay. If four it is here, then 32. So three, three B here, right? So three B, 30 multi, so 30 to 40 number, it should be only one number is divisible by eight. What is that 32? So B should be two. Well, uh, that's the reason I took B. Now, clearing this. Now, what's the number I got B value? What's the B value? What's the B value is two. Right now, four, six, eight, a, three, five, and in the B place, we can write two, right? We already find that two now. And the second one, and what is the 11 divisible by 11 divisibility rule? The alternate number sums the difference is nothing but zero or zero or level multiple, right? Now, Four plus eight plus three plus two alternate number side. So this, 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 and this difference of six plus a plus uh, five plus that's it. Okay, six plus a plus five. What's the difference here? Uh, 8 plus 2, 10 and 17. It is 17 minus, I mean, difference. It is nothing but 6 plus 6 plus 5. 11 plus A. 11 plus A. Okay, now what will be the A number? If it is also 17, if it is also 17, then it will be divisible by 7. Otherwise, if you are subtracting this, if it is keeping the zero, suppose if you are keeping the a is zero, then 17 minus 11, what is that? Six. Six is not, not a multiple of 11, right? So, you cannot keep a uh, difference. So, it is already 11 is there. If uh, less, less than 7, uh, 11 means, then we can find the difference here. I mean, make it a multiple of 11. But here, we should make it as a zero, equal to zero. So, 17 minus 11 plus a equal to 0. So, 11 plus a equal to 17. So, a equal to 17 minus 11 is nothing but 6. So, finally, you got a value is 6 and b value is 2. So, final number what is? Okay, note it down first. Note down.
everyone. Okay, then I'm going to click. So what's the final number? Four, six, eight. In A place, I have found this. A, six, and three, five. In the B place, I find two. Right? So this is what the number. Okay? Okay. For explaining only, I took this much time. So if you are practicing these questions, number of questions, then you can simplify with within 30 seconds only. If you know the divisibility rule by eight, no need of uh, writing 350, 35B and you're taking the division, nothing. By seeing itself, by watching this number only, just seeing this number only, you can write B is a two. Okay. For 11, you have to add this, this and this like this. Okay, 11 you have to add, but for eight, for nine, for three, for four, and five, six, even two, that uh, three. These all the numbers is very, very easy. And not only that numbers, any number, if you know the co-prime co numbers, multiple of co-prime numbers, product, product of co-prime numbers, then you can check that divisibility rule also, okay? Now, I'm going to stop this uh, divisibility rule of uh, for today's class. So next class will uh, discuss reminder theorem. So that is a, one of the important uh, concept in number system. So after that, what is there? Uh, factors and multiples we already discussed. Power cycle discussed and divisibility rules also discussed in last class and today's class. And uh, product of the cycle we already discussed. And reminder theorem is very 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 important. So after that, I'll include one more concept also that I'll say after reminder theorem actually that is a very very shortcut for simplifications so I'll I'll uh, including that a uh, separate concept also in number system to make your number system is perfect okay so that is the thing uh, thanks for watching and first of all uh, I forgot to say just note it down this I think you people note it down or not so just uh, at least check uh, I'll keep for one minute just what is it two it should be even what is it three sum of the number is multiple of three what is it four last two digits is divisible by four okay just note it down fast and do 30 seconds fast 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 and next Five, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys, five is a damn easy and six also eight, nine. For so eight, you people will feel somewhat difficult, but uh, no worries. See, if you're practicing, then you'll get it. Okay. No, this one. Just note it down. 11 and 12 and 7, 7, 19, you just practice it. So don't feel difficulty in the 7 and 9. So if you are practicing that one, it is more easy. But don't forget to split the number. Split the number and take it as a unit number is different and normal number is different. Okay. So with that only, we'll get the answer for that. Okay. Okay. That's what uh, Tres. Okay, just uh, note it down this one also. Okay. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.